to my channel. My name is Sabrina and I hope you're having a super sparkly day. Today I did an Isabel Lightwood inspired look from Shadowhunters. I've really been enjoying re-watching and watching the first and second seasons on Hulu and I've also read all of the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices series but if you want to see more about all the book stuff that I love make sure you're following me on TikTok and Twitter because I tend to talk more about books over there than here on YouTube now. So yeah, before we hop on into this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Now let's hop on into it. Hi guys and welcome to the voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and start this look with some L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is one of my favorite foundations and it's super, super lightweight since um, I noticed Isabel didn't really have a whole lot going on for makeup and actually I have linked her actual makeup tutorial down below in the description so make sure you check that out I thought that was really cool that her and her makeup artist went through all of their kind of tips and tricks that they did when they were on set and yeah so I just blended this in with a big kabuki brush and then I went on and added just a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes on my nose and on my chin and in the middle of my forehead just to brighten everything up and then go ahead and contour just a little bit too and of course I'm just blending this in with a beauty blender type sponge I think this one is actually the Real Techniques brand but yeah it's one of my favorites and then I went ahead and chopped all that off with just a little bit of powder to kind of set all of those creams that way they don't move because <laughs> of course you know I like the whole shadow hunter thing and I think this is really cool and if you were a shadow hunter you definitely wouldn't want your makeup moving <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and start on the eyes and so I just went in with a little bit of Master Prime by Maybelline and I just used my fingers to blend that all in and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I think this is actually like the palette that she used or pretty close to it so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of nudie just all over the eyes and this is on just a big fluffy brush and then to drooping up that outer corner and crease I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cashmere bunny that way you get a little bit more depth for the eyes again this is a super easy shadow look she really didn't wear too much shadows but if I know she's got some other um, makeup looks so let me know in the comments if you want to see those and then on an angle brush I'm going to go in with some Sexpresso just to deepen up the lash line and to go ahead and kind of give it that blended makeup liner look. I'm also going to take this underneath my eyes to blend the top into the bottom. That way whenever we go to actually add liner we've already got a little bit of a base started. And here it is underneath the eyes, again on that same angle brush, just lining on that outer corner. So who are your guys' favorite Shadowhunter characters? Clearly I love Isabel just because I thought she had great makeup and great outfits. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of NYX um, matte liner and do her classic wings that she has. She has really big wings but she also has bigger eyes than I do so I just went ahead and did my normal wings for this look but anyways yeah Isabel is one of my favorite characters I also like Clary um, let me know if you want a Clary tutorial too and so yeah a little tip for wings is if you lay your hand or your um, elbow on your work table you can actually get a cleaner line and it helps steady your hands when you're doing it and then going in with just a little bit of um, the hard candy casual liner I'm just gonna line my outer waterline and my upper waterline just to you know add a little bit more depth and then going in with some Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. I'm just going to give my lashes a really, really good coat of this. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I'm sure if you've watched some of my other tutorials, you know this. And I really like the 
Um, Too Faced better than Sex Mascara. It's really good. And then I'm going to go in with um, some Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm just going to do my normal contour Isabelle. I think isn't as contoured, but I kind of like my face a little bit more contoured. So I did the almost normal three shape contour that you normally see. Just starting with my cheeks and then my jawline and my forehead. Then I'm going to go in with just a little bit of light pink red blush. Isabelle doesn't really have too much of a blush going on so I didn't go too heavy with the blush today. And then I'm going to use an old palette. This is the Carrie B. Bell palette. So I went in and used this um, like bronzy color gold for the highlight just because I thought that looked so like Isabel. And then for the lips, of course, I'm going to go in with some NYX Matte Cream Liner in Copenhagen. This is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks, especially for fall. It's really super beautiful and it's not too red and it's not like um, too bright. It's very, very nice. And I think it looked really similar to what she actually wore in the show, which is really, really cool. And so that's it for this look, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to see another Shadow Hunter tutorial or any other character that you would want to see. So thanks for watching, guys. Until my next video. Bye!